Welcome back to Heroes Next Door. Thank you all for watching. We are back in Baltimore County, just outside of Baltimore. We're doing the Lutherville Fire Company, and we're going to be doing a station rigs on their rescue squad. So let's get, take a look, because it's very unique. So today we're going to meet up with one of the firefighters here. He's a volunteer. His name is Chris. He's going to walk us through this vehicle. Hey, nice to meet you, Chris. Go Thanks on, for inviting us down. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for coming. So I hear this is a pretty unique vehicle. Can you can explain to me what this is? So this is a 2008 Pierce Velocity with a 10-ton uh, international crane on the top of it. Okay. So we can use it to stabilize vehicles that are in a more difficult circumstance than we would use rescue jacks in. We can also use the rescue jacks or other ways to stabilize the vehicle. Okay. So This is set up to be just a rescue? It's not an engine? It doesn't yep, have so any water yep. on it? So in Baltimore County, you're either an engine, you're a rescue squad, or you're a ladder truck. There's no in-between. Okay. So. Okay. Um, can you talk us through the front of the cab, what you got up front? Yeah. So, I mean, it's just a pretty basic cab, driver's compartment. Um, we have uh, officers on the other side, and then we have uh, six, X, six SCBAs in the back uh, for six firefighters. Okay. So, okay. Um, pretty basic. They just have uh, hand lights and radios, and that's about all that's in the back. Right. And um, you guys are using a Scott MSA? Uh, we're using the MSA G1s. We were actually the, I believe, second department in the country to get them. Okay. Um, so they're working pretty well for us. Yeah, we liked them. We did actually a video on them. Uh, MSA came out and mm -hmm. let us use them. I really liked it. I liked the way it rolled on the back. Yeah, absolutely. So so this is the crane part of it. Yeah. Is that what you call it, a crane? Uh, yeah, it's a crane. Okay. Um, it's the same kind of crane you'd see on like construction vehicles or whatnot, except it's on a fire truck. Okay. So uh, and, this is where the driver controls it. He can control it from either side. It, so. it articulates out each side? Yep, so like, it goes around. Yep, uh, they, there's a platform on both sides of the vehicle. Okay. So. Yep. And uh, maybe later we can show me how to use yeah, this. Yeah, absolutely. But let's go around the compartments and tell us what's got in each of the compartments. Yeah, sounds good. So uh, this is our uh, through and through compartment. Unfortunately, with the crane, we actually lose an, another through and through compartment. Okay. But, uh, we have more than enough storage on this vehicle. Oh, wow. Yep. Okay. So up top, we have uh, various uh, spreaders um, and rams. And on the bottom on each side, we have a pull-out tray. We have a combi tool, a cutter, and a spreader. Okay. And these are all the hydraulic. You haven't switched over to battery powered yet. Uh, we're actually looking into that right now, but for now we still have... Uh, yeah, this is what I'm used to. You yeah. Know, I've been using these for years. They work really, really well. Absolutely. Uh, and you know, the, I've heard the battery power ones are actually a little bit heavier. Quicker put in service, yeah. but a little bit heavier. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, yeah, I'd be interested to see how that works for you. Yeah. But so love that excited. Macho, great tool. Yep. So we have uh, two pre-connected hose reels okay. on each side. Uh, we also have a uh, uh, portable pump if we're a little too far from the vehicle. Okay. So. Yeah, and this goes e either side. So this is the same equipment no matter where you're at, right? Yep. So uh, each tray pulls out on either side. And then Do you used a... to have these cutters on that side then, or? Um, yes, but uh, different set of spreaders. Okay. So. Whoop. We'll make our way around. Yeah. Um, we have the lifting straps for the crane, uh, okay. as well as chains for it. Okay. So we can lift vehicles up and whatnot. And how big can you lift? Uh, we can lift up to 10 tons. Wow. So. Okay. That's a car. Yeah. Yeah. That's my, that's my truck. <laughs> <laughs> um, this compartment, we have all the various stuff. We have our RID equipment, uh, extinguishers, some lighting, some hand tools. Uh, just basic firefighting equipment. Okay. I see you went to the Milwaukee Lighting. Oh, uh, they're, they're great compared yeah. to what we used to have. No more no more cords or anything. Right. We still do have all the, the original cord reels and all that, but okay. these do the trick now. So with the crane, do you necessarily do airbag lifting or anything like that? We, we, we do airbag lifting, yeah. Okay. So the crane is, is more for like complex situations. Uh, more than not, we just use basic rescue jacks, airbags, that kind of stuff. Okay. So. Okay. This compartment, we have all our rope rescue stuff. Uh, we don't do a ton of rope rescue stuff around here. The special operations station is actually the next station up the road, um, but we're always ready for it when we need to. So are you ready to do high angle or is this more of a So we don't do high angle. Um, okay. 
uh, 17, which is up the road, they do all the high angle. But we can do Stokes basket evolutions, your basic uh, mechanical advantage systems. Okay, okay. Always good to have, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, this is more or less a driver's compartment. This is where he keeps his gear. He has all his controls for his break, uh, for the breakers, for the pumps and the crane and all that. Okay. Uh, we also have our more old school lighting system in here. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this all looks very familiar to me. You got your smoke ejector or, yep. you know, positive pressure ventilator, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. you know, however you're using it. Yep. So tell us a little bit more about the company. What in Lutherville, what are you? Are you all volunteer here? Yep, so we're all volunteers. So Baltimore County is a uh, crew and volunteer combination system. Um, it's a little different than most other combination systems in that the volunteers and the career stations are completely separate. Okay. So there's no volunteer, there's no uh, career personnel in any of the volunteer stations. However, we do work together on a daily basis and have a good working reputation with each other. Okay. But how so, many uh, volunteers do you have at the station? So we have about 100 volunteers. Wow. Okay. Um, some of them don't ride anymore, of course. When we have uh, one member. He joined the fire department in 1954. He doesn't ride anymore, but you know that knowledge and skill set that he has is invaluable. He still he trains a lot of our drivers and absolutely uh, works with a lot of our new. So people, how many so. guys you get out during work nights? I hear uh, I was looking on your website. You guys do Monday night work nights kind of thing, right? Yeah. So we have uh, a weekly training, um, then we do a monthly meeting every second Monday. Okay. Um, but that's just one night. Uh, that we give for everyone to be here, but we have people here every night. You Try. get what, 20, 30 guys to show up most um, of the time? On Monday nights, we have yeah 20 to 30 guys. Uh, the rest of the week, we might have anywhere from four to 10 guys sleeping in. So it just depends on, on who's coming up and who wants to hang out, so. Awesome, awesome. All right, and we'll work our way around the truck here. So up here, we just have all our various poles, yeah. yep, hooks and everything. Um, as well as our ground anchor system. Um, and here we have our Stokes basket for RIT operations, or if we need to use a Stokes basket, it's currently set up uh, for RIT, so all we gotta do is throw some hand tools in there and we can drag it to the fire scene. Awesome. So you got a couple chainsaws or K12s yep. at least, yeah. So down here we have our portable winch. We have a 10 ton winch on the front. This is a uh, two and a half ton winch. Okay. So we can hook this up to the side or any uh, any uh, tow hitch that um, just plugs right into there. Right. So, as long as they come along. So this is port, you take this one off. Yeah, so this just comes right out and gets plugged right into the side and you're good to go. Okay, okay. Oh. So There's this, a lot of equipment on yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> this is our pull-out tray. We have all of our rescue jacks for stabilization, which like I said, is what we use most of the time for stabilization now. Okay. Um, as well as all of our uh, forceful entry saws. Yeah, you, you got the use. different blades on it, right? So you, yeah. what kind of blades do you have currently set up? Um, so this is uh, more of like concrete, um, and this one's for wood. Okay. So we can cut most stuff with this one, but uh, this one's specifically for wood. And then we have our vent saw for cutting roofs, and then we just have a standard chainsaw if we need to cut a tree or something out of the way on a rescue. Okay, and you well, have your rescue jacks for stabilization. Mm -hmm. And it looks like you get a couple different sizes back there too. Um, so these are the, uh, this is how you, you used to lift. Okay. Yep. Okay. So these are fully adjustable and then those will. Uh, and liftability. Yep. Okay. Yep. So you can lift with them. Um, and then we just have different chains uh, for doing a tie back or whatnot. Um, and uh, all the stuff for the saws are, is back in So if too. I wanted to volunteer here, this is a lot of equipment. It kind of makes me intimidated a mm -hmm. little bit as someone brand new. How do you go about learning how to do this? Do you guys teach that? Yeah, or? absolutely. We have a, a lot of experience here. Uh, we have a lot of members who do this as a job. Um, we have guys that are Baltimore City firemen, Baltimore County, DC, Montgomery, Howard, Anne Arundel, from all over the place. Um, so the knowledge that we have here is really, really invaluable. Okay. Um, we're now, if I were to volunteer, I don't have, say I don't have any knowledge. Uh, mm -hmm. I come in, I'm a new volunteer. You're going to teach me in-house, but then do you offer classes then too? So uh, through the University of Maryland, Mifri, it's where uh, all the fire training in the state goes through. Okay. So we'll send you out to those classes. We'll start you out with Fire One. Um, we'll get your, your hazmat. You can work on your EMT or you can start on your squad stuff. So we, everyone gets cleared on the engine first. Wow. Um, and then we start working on your squad stuff or you can choose to do EMT. And, and that's no charge to the people that want to volunteer for No, it. sir. That's awesome. It's all done through uh, license plates. That's cool. Yep. Yeah. So. So as we're putting this back in, how do they get a, go about volunteering here? Do they have a, do you have a website? Do you have a phone number? Yeah. Email? So we have our website, lvfc.com. Uh, you just go to recruitment and there's a form you fill out and then our recruitment team will contact you. Okay. So it's super easy. Uh, we also have paper applications. If you're in the area and you want to stop by, uh, you can do that and we'll get you an application. Awesome. 
What's on the other side? So this is uh, more or less our, the toolbox uh, for the uh, for the rescue squad. We have our uh, airlines, electric. This is all our hand tools. Wow. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Built right and in. Stuff. Yep. Love the drawer system. Yeah. Did you guys cool. have that specially made, or did um, that come with Pierce? So everything you see, for the most part, is how the squad came in 2008. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a good way to do it. I love that you labeled it too. So yeah. you know, even as a rookie that coming in, Absolutely. I know exactly where they need to go. So all of our hand tools and stuff, uh, we were lucky enough to get a, a pretty large donation from Milwaukee about two years ago. Okay. So we got all new hand tools and lighting from them. Yeah, um, they are the up and coming supplier of uh, rescue tools. Oh, absolutely, yeah. So, DeWalt, don't get me wrong, DeWalt's good. We've used them for years. Mm -hmm. Milwaukee is uh, catching up for sure. Yes. Uh, all of our air tools are in here. Okay. Um, and then it just keeps going do you down have everything a, else. Do you do a cascade system on this or do you have to have, uh, do you have a pump for so your we air have tools? A, we have a cascade um, here okay. at the station. We will run, uh, if we can't run off the air hose, we can run off one of our SCBA bottles. Okay. So, okay. Um, so on the truck though, do you have its own pump or do, is it has there, an air compressor? It has an it. air compressor yeah. on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you don't have to worry about the cascade system and keep changing those bottles on no. a regular basis. And Baltimore County, they do have uh, two air trucks that come to every fire scene. So if we need to fill up after a fire, we just go to them and they do it for us. Cool. This is all of our cribbing for uh, rescues. Okay. So it gets the job done for the most part. Uh, sometimes you need a lot more. So. Explain to us what we're seeing here, because it just basically looks like a full compartment. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so in here we have uh, our step chocks, so basic vehicle stabilization if you have a car on all fours. Okay. We have something more, a little more complex. We have uh, our 6 by 6s our 4 by 4s and our 2 by 4s as well as um, a bunch of uh, wedges in there. Okay. So we can build a pretty complex uh, uh, cribbing, si cribbing, cribbing system. Cribbing system. Yeah. And what that means is basically building a, a square to stabilize up underneath the vehicle absolutely. and the vehicle kind of sits yep. on there, right? And these ones are the new composites, uh, so you're not having to replace your step chocks all the time. Absolutely. You know, those are the ones that we use the most. You know, that's the real quick stabilization that you slide up underneath the, the mm -hmm. bumper or the corner of the yep, car. Super easy, down. super quick. So, very cool to see. Move it on. Um, again, on this side, it's just more, more hand tools. We have our EMS uh, supplies. Okay. Um, are you guys EMTs, first responders, paramedics? What do you guys run here? Um, so Baltimore County does not do EMR anymore. Okay. For all EMTs, uh, you get EMT free, just uh, the same way you get it all your fire training. Um, so we uh, do stress that everyone should eventually get EMT within the first couple years here. Okay. Um, it's not required, but it is. Yeah, yeah. It's insisted. So you're carrying AEDs, backboards, and your basic BLS supplies. Yeah, we're BLS only. We yeah. don't. We, we do have paramedics that volunteer here, but we don't have any ALS supplies. Okay. So. Okay. It's a good way to do that. Mm -hmm. And then over here, just like on the uh, other side. Okay. Uh, we have another set of uh, rescue tools, um, okay. as well as our airbag system. So yeah. everything we run is Hamatro. Okay. So. Makes it easy, easy connection across Absolutely. the board. Absolutely. So, um, can we pull one of these things out? Just kind of show the yeah. viewers uh, what the cutters from Hamatra look like. Maybe take a spreader versus a cutter. So this is a combi tool. Okay, and what so, does that mean? So a combi tool is a combination between a cutter and a spreader. Um, the only difference with a combi tool is um, it actually acts as a scissor. Okay. Um, a cutter more or less compresses until it snaps the piece of metal or whatever you're working with in half. Okay. So, so this one you would actually put in the, maybe the, the wedge of a door and that would spread it apart. Yep. Or and maybe if I got maybe a, a B post of a car, this can scissor it just yep. like Absolutely. and cut it. Okay, mm -hmm. I get it. I get yep. it. Okay. And the other one below that. So this is a spreader. This is solely for spreading. Okay. Now that looks like it spread a lot wider than that one. Is yep. that correct? Absolutely. Yeah. And we have different lengths of spreaders on here as well. So depending on what we're working with, uh, how you know whether it be a semi truck or just a little sedan, okay, um, we'll determine what we're which tool we're which tools we're using. Okay. And up top, it looks like you got a couple rams also. Yep. So up here we have uh, various different size rams. And what would a ram be used for? Um, so a ram would be used uh, if you had a, uh, the dashboard sometimes will come down on your legs um, and it, it just has a little, it has a lot more room to be able to spread things apart. Okay. So we can spread from the back behind you all the way to the front and make a, a big gap. Basically, open up the car a little yeah, bit. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I get it. And then we also have our cutters. Ah, okay. So these are O cutters. So this is more or less compresses until it breaks the metal. Okay. Instead of cutting like a scissor. 
So, so why would you use this one over the combi tool? So um, the combi tool is lower, has a lower pressure, so it can cut less. Um, this can cut a lot more. So this will cut about 310,000 pounds of force. Okay, that'll go through pretty much any car. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome to see. So. So. You have awesome complemented tools on this truck. Yeah, we're, we're, take we're very fortunate to have what we have on here. Right, we're, we're right. Lucky, so. so that's pretty much the truck. However, I would love to see how that crane works. I've never Absolutely. seen it yet. Any of our viewers on uh, yours next door, we haven't seen a crane yet on that. Are we able to maybe? Yeah, absolutely. We can go out back and show you guys. All right. Cool. So before we do that, do us a favor. Hit subscribe, hit notification, hit those like buttons so we can keep building more. And let's go take a look at this in action. So what they use this for is actually picking up a car, moving it in a different space, maybe getting it out of a highway, getting it off a patient, pulling it out of a creek. So once again, this was a station race with Lutherville Fire Department. Thank you very much for these guys showing us what they do, how this special rescue uh, works with a crane on it. First of its kind that we've seen on Heroes Next Door. Thank you for watching. Before we end, hit subscribe, hit notification, and click, keep hitting those like buttons because we're trying to hit that 100,000 subscriber mark. With your help, we can do that. Last but not least, go to our website at uh, watchheroesnextdoor.com. Pick yourself up some merchandise. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next week.